So we had a reporter on from the Huffington Post um, like a week or two ago about influencers who did like mommy blogging or fitness or makeup or whatever that during the pandemic had started to dip their toe into the the urine warm waters of conspiracy theories. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was a great interview, great article. Go take a look at it. I hadn't really come across any of that. Like I haven't, like my wife knows someone who has become crazy with conspiracy theory, but I haven't. It's always like academic re distance removal from it. But I went on Instagram this morning and I follow, um, like a lot of people do, I follow some accounts purely for fitness inspiration. I just, there's, there's this woman and she just gives fitness tips and I just, it's great. But anyway, um, she had a You're thing. All right. Everyone just live in this moment in this feeling where John's Let's like, so it. it's not it. the Lululemon tushies no, I'm here it's not. for. It's mm -hmm. not. <laughs> this isn't what's important. Let's move past it. Anyway, so she had, you know, a picture. Um, but then I also, I, I looked at the caption and the caption, so she was at a gym and she had a mask on. And the caption was going off on how we don't need masks, how breathing carbon dioxide is more dangerous than coronavirus, and that we should let the healthy young people go to the gym without a mask to become stronger so that we can have herd immunity. And I was like, I've never seen this person say a crazy thing before. But then in the comments, all the comments were supportive. Like, yeah, you're right. It's all fake. And one guy was like, you know, this virus, there's something fishy about it. And she responded, I can't disagree with you. And I thought, you, you can't even disagree with the part where he put virus in quotation marks? It's, it's a virus, right? Can we agree that it's a virus, if nothing else? Yes, yes, you get it from 5G towers. But it's a virus that 5G gives you. I've I just been so insulated up until today. <laughs> We did on Happy Half Hour, which everyone should watch today. Nando Vila is on the uh, live version, and we have a really good time. We shot it last week because this is vacation, Brett, you're talking about. But um, <laughs> we had on a previous Happy Half Hour, Codfish, who follows us on Instagram, did a bunch of memes of 5G that looked like 5G is poisonous memes. Mm -hmm. And then it gave you like ways to avoid the yes. poison. And all the guidelines that they gave in the fake meme were like very helpful in fighting coronavirus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's one thing. The other thing is the mask does not eliminate your ability to acquire oxygen. It actually, in reality, um, yeah, there's a little more carbon dioxide, but I would assume it's no worse than uh, breathing into a paper bag, which you should do anyway, because you're hyperventilating <laughs> over nothing. The request for you to wear masks is the right request to make. Yeah. It's not too burdensome. Like to give you an idea of where you think the perils of losing your freedom lie, that ain't it. Mm -hmm. You are not losing your fundamental freedoms because people are like, please wear a mask, folks. <laughs> More people have already died than died in Vietnam. Yeah, twice as many. You're you're 100 right. They've they've passed or tried to pass multiple bills specifically stripping away privacy rights in a number of different areas since the beginning of the mask liberty protests. I, I love America. It's the best place. Yeah, the the mask stuff, man. I just I, I had I had really mostly avoided it, and it was it was just jarring to see. Not that they said it to all of their God knows how many people, but that it was applauded when they said it. I remember, I forget who it was from Vox that you had on that just said that YouTube and I guess transitively like every, not transitively, but every um, social media platform doesn't have an extremism problem. It has an extreme problem. Mm -hmm. And thing people start looking at like, I mean, it makes sense. How do I take care of my baby? Uh, if I'm a mommy vlogger, then it'll be like, well, here's how you take care of your baby. Here's how you take care of your baby in this crazy world. Here's how this world is even crazier than you could ever have imagined. And now you're reading things that are straight up conspiracy theories yeah, yeah. and you've made your way to believing them. And it's insane because, I mean, they present themselves as life hacks, really. And that's that's what these influencers owe their um, 
their success to is everyone online looking for like a fun little life hack, a way to be smarter than other people, a way to have an edge in that conversation so that you're more informed. Um, And it is not a requirement that those things you're informed about, so to speak, are actually true. Mm -hmm. You just want to feel a certain way while saying them to people that makes you seem superior to them. Yeah, And that's so dangerous because at some point, those same folks should prioritize truth somewhere in that weird um, mix. Yeah, I, I think you're identifying the cause of a lot of our problems, specifically coronavirus now, but a lot of problems. Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.